Joomla Nutshell. Hello, this is Elijah Clark here with the Joomla Nutshell.com again. And what I want to show you now today is how to use the module manager for Joomla 1.6. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, where I am, I'm actually on uh, the demo site here, which is JoomlaMonster.com. And you got to log into the administrative portion of your website if you want to try this out. And that's going to be your website.com slash administrator. And once I'm logged in, I'm actually I can actually just uh, hover over this menu here extensions go down to module manager or you can actually just choose module manager right here from the uh, the intro page from the back end so I'm gonna go ahead and click module manager and we can also take a look at the module I'm gonna work with the about Joomla module right now as we can see it's on the home page uh, that is not showing on the sample sites page so as you can see that module isn't showing up here it's only showing up on the home page of the website so I'm just going to give you an example of how to set it up over there and even how to make some additional changes to it all right now to find that that's called about Joomla I can actually just type in about or I could just search for it but I'm just going to type in about that'll help me find it easier and then I could just click on about Joomla it shows me what position that it's in as we can see it's in position seven here and it's also published, of course. If I want to unpublish it, I don't want to show this module any longer. I can just go to unpublish and then click save, and that module will disappear. If I want to change the name of it, I can put our links. Oops. Put our links here and click save. I'm just going to show you here. If I do that, of course, you can see the name changes. And, of course, this module is links for the... Uh, this is the additional links for that that section anyway so that's why they're showing up like this of course you can make your module anything you can choose a different menu you can put an image over there this is another module with the login form so in order to do that of course you just want to come here uh, and we can create a new module I'll show you that in a second however this just shows the ordering if we want that module on the top this so we can just put it here put that module say we want it on top put it as position number one uh, with the ordering uh, we can also have a start and finish publishing date if we choose to click here if I wanted to start publishing on one date and whatnot uh, and stop uh, publishing on another date I can do that and this here allows me to show which pages I want that module on as I said if I look back here and I click on sample sites that module is no it's not here and the reason for that is that it's clicked back here so as you can see it says all pages except those selected is where I want that module to show so if I just unselect this and then save it it will show up it will not it will show up on that page actually and the same thing with any of these links here so you can click the different sections and you know wherever you want it anyway and I'm just going to click, click on save come back and I'm going to refresh this sample sites page and there we have our modules uh, now on this page then once all is done here you can actually just come and click save and close or you can click save and new if you wanted to create a new module but I'll actually show that in another video how to create a new module but that is how you save uh, actually work your media manager and like I said this is all our links so as we can see that new link module is set up here 